have you figured out why the bottom of the bottle traps out when you slap on its top? Oh no! <laughs> because of this or this you know what some researchers recorded bottle breaking tricks using high-speed cameras before during and after the bottle breaks their video showed that striking the bottle does not instantly destroy it but instead the impact that causes the bottle to speed downward mm, interesting when the fluid or water accelerates from one area to another it leaves a gap where it was an area of lower pressure. The differences in acceleration that different parts of the bottle experience mean that the liquid at the bottom of the bottle is under less pressure than elsewhere within the bottle. If the acceleration experienced by the bottle is great enough, the reduced pressure causes some of the water at the bottom to vaporize. A drop in pressure can make liquid vaporize if the temperature remains the same. Vaporized liquid turns into bubbles. The process known as cavitation, since heating the bottle accelerates it only briefly. The pressure at the bottom of the bottle quickly returns to normal. Thus, the bubbles collapse faster than they were primarily formed. And these reactions ultimately crack the bottom of the bottle. Okay, to prove that air pressure is not the one that's causing the bottle to break, we have to cover the bottle. But why water? I'm glad you asked. Oh! oh. <laughs> it just fizzes. <laughs> this breaking effect does not work with fizzy water or carbonated drink because it already has bubbles in it. Though slapping a bottle filled with such carbonated fluid will cause bubbles to form, these bubbles are filled up with carbon dioxide and just float away instead of collapsing at the bottom of the bottle.